So this quick video today is um, an update on the Compass tires. We are now sitting at, this is a, uh, this is going to be a 3,000 mile Compass tire update. Uh, if you recall, a few months or so ago I posted a video where I was sitting in this exact same spot. Winter has now set in. Um, it's a little colder than it was the day I built. <laughs> A little colder than that day I filmed this before, but as you can see, I'm in the same exact spot. So let's do a uh, 3,000 mile update. So on the front tire, the, this is the front tire because as you recall, I have replaced the rear tire. The rear tire was replaced about 500 miles ago, 2,500 miles or so I replaced the rear tire. And I explained why I didn't put the new tire on the front, and that's because the rear tire is the standard casing and the front is the extra light so my theory was if you take the extra light and you put it on the back and the stiffer wall on the front you're gonna change the the general ride characteristic and I didn't want to do that I wanted the thinner walled light lighter tire on the front so that it would handle the bumps better and usually when you're riding you're about 40 60 weight distribution so with the thicker two with the thicker wall tire on the back my theory at least totally um you know unscientific was that that would make more sense so since that video let's just do a quick rundown of what i think of the compass tires 3000 miles in so the front tire uh i have had one flat that i remember and it was in a video i made called uh fort ross road ride or whatever and uh i happened to get a flat tire making that video um and it was a front tire flat and it occurred very slowly so it started leaking down um, luckily my neighbor was there he picked me up and took me home so when I got back I opened it up looked inside and it turned out it was a little piece of glass that got in there so it was kind of a big puncture and I went ahead and booted it with a uh, piece of rubber from another tire and just put a tube back in and I'm still using it. I actually thought maybe I should get get a new one, but I'm still riding it. So let's just take a quick peek at what it looks like with 3,000 miles. And, you know, maybe I'll just keep making these updates as I go along until this tire is just completely worn out. But um, let's take a peek. Um, lots has happened since I bought these tires. Uh, I've got a new camera, so the video is going to be better quality. Um... What else? I've learned how to edit videos a little bit better. So, I don't know. I don't know. I guess not too much has happened since then. But take a look. You can still sort of see right on the groove, right on the center line of the tire, you can still see this the little grooves. So it actually hasn't worn down that much overall. The coloration on the side has more or less stayed stayed as it was the day I got it. A little over, I think it was a little over a year ago. Uh, I mean, yeah, so these are 32 millimeter. They are called the what's the name of them? Uh, I forget what they're actually called, but they are 700 by 32 extra light casings there are 90 psi max which I don't run them at that high of pressure my preference on the pre uh, pressure for these is right around between 60 and 70 if I'm doing a lot of rides on ro on the road I will drop that down to between 50 and 60 if I'm doing gravel I don't like to go much lower than, than 50 with this tire because it gets to that with the well there's some some issues just with the general front geometry and the front load this fork is not designed for that so you you know you can't really push the pressure too low um, with a weight on the front with front load it already is sort of unstable as it is and majority of the rides I do with this bike are uh, gravel I'm sorry the majority of the rides that I do with this bike anyways, it's I'd say it's about 90% um, road. 
where I use gravel roads to make connections between back roads. So I, I try to stay off busy, busy roads. So that's why I like this bike a lot for road riding is because it can help, it helps me to get from uh, one back road to another and avoid some of the busier narrow roads that are in my local area. So that was one of the big things, one of the big advantages. Because I still like road riding, I just don't like the cars that much. So okay, um, that's the 3,000 mile update. And the back tire should have about 500. This is the standard weight. It has about 500 miles on it right now. And no flats to report. So one flat on the front in 3,000 miles, it was a piece of glass. And it was during a time I was filming a video, so I know I wasn't paying attention to the road um, surface or the glass. And uh, I do about 10% gravel rides with this bike. So it does see gravel. It's I see dirt roads. I ride it in mud. Yesterday I was riding it through kind of a muddy section of the road. And I have fenders, so um, there's always a chance for a puncture flat when you have fenders. Cause little debris will get stuck between the tire as it's rotating and then the fender will literally like kind of force it to lodge into the tire so you have that risk also so in all you know with all those risks to report one flat tire in 3,000 miles that's fair that's fair so thanks compass and uh, we'll talk to you soon we'll talk to you in the next video Photography, it's uh, difficult to capture the essence, you know. I think there's something bigger on how humans interpret an experience and then capture that on film. You can't repeat it, really, can you? What shall we do with the drunken sailor? What shall we do with the drunken sailor? What shall we do with the drunken sailor?